All right, so new gym. Pretty excited about what is about to go down. What is going on, guys? Brandon Hyde in here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 8th of October, and we're just outside Foundry Gym Dudley. Been going to the Foundry Gym in West Bromwich, which is about 15 minutes away from where we live. This one is about 25 minutes away, and we have chest. It's meant to be a push day, but considering tomorrow's workout is going to be with my coach Callum, I'm driving down to Burton. It's about a 50 minute drive away, so we can train one on one together, and we're doing shoulders and arms. So, not gonna lie, still trying to recover from the past work out literally three days ago we did legs and we did this insane set on the hack squat like there was literally no way i could do any more it was an rpe 10 Ooh, i say rpe 10 but like a true rpe 10 somebody was about to like die and you had to do like that last rep to like save their life and if you didn't they would you know you couldn't save them maybe it was like an rpe 9.5 but even still it was absolutely insane and i'm still not yet recovered from that real quick before we go into the gym had this waiting for me outside the apartment it's a blood glucose monitor the reason i got this is so i can start monitoring those levels so i can give more information back to callum on what my levels are at different points in the day this kind of thing isn't a necessity it's definitely not like stupidly important Important, but the more information you have obviously the better too much information is never a bad thing so pretty excited about this yeah. right now let's go into the gym the gym itself is this massive warehouse like it's a lot bigger than the other foundry gym so pretty excited to see what's inside no it's all good thank you first impressions walking in this place it is absolutely massive the machinery looks like it goes on for literally ever there's a lot more machinery here than there is at the foundry gym in west bromwich so definitely gonna be coming here a lot more i'm gonna sit on the turf right now plan the workout because obviously chest isn't on my split push is so i need to like devise workout and then we'll get started you like it it's huge it's really big i completely forgot for a second that i actually have my own app where i've already created workouts for people to follow and it would be rude for me to not follow it myself so i just picked the chest workout from week nine i'm gonna follow this and holy shit i programmed a lot of volume into this workout and of course if you also want to get involved with the hard buddy app as well there's gonna be a link in the description down below it's gonna take you to the website one month three months or you can save 27 percent and get the whole year of the app and have access to everything that i'm going to be using for this workout there's a video on the website that goes over what the app gives you so if you want to watch that if you are interested check it out but right now we're gonna get started with the workout what are you uh, what are you training abs and calves traps it's supposed to be an actual rest day but i'm doing cardio so i'm gonna do like your entire chest workout if you want to subscribe to the app i already have it <laughs> right now and trying to like spread my legs to like sit on the bench <laughs> is impossible i love it <laughs>
happy with the performance of that workout. Following the app as well, there was a lot of variety in it and I wanted to come tonight to like, I guess just do something different to utilize the fact that I'm not following the plan just today to only hit chest. Cause obviously as I said at the beginning, we are trying to recall them tomorrow. So I had to switch up this workout and the variety and the different mashup of different exercises was really, really fun to do. So honestly, really happy. And there's a lot of volume with that. Like I tried to do a lot of reps and a lot of weight as well. That was fantastic. But right now we're gonna head back and get a post-workout meal and continue on with this bulk. See, the word bulk, I feel like recently, has a bad stigma to it, like the word bulk. Like you should never bulk, you should never like gain weight or be in too much of a surplus, because like, I don't know, bulking's bad, right? Like you shouldn't bulk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit quieter now. Honestly, like that gym was actually really, really fun. We're definitely gonna be coming here a lot more. But I guess on the subject of what I was talking about in the gym about bulking and I guess the persona that has been created by that, um, I feel like the person that like created the persona that bulking is bad is actually Greg Doucette. I think it was like two and a half weeks ago. He actually made a video about me and he was analyzing my supplement stack and my full day of eating. First off, the video was like really, really funny. When he actually made the video, I received a bunch of messages on Instagram, people being like, Greg's made a video about you, sending me like the links to the, the video itself and like that people were saying like, please ignore it like don't react like don't reenact what happened in february which was a whole like messed up situation i'm going to elaborate on that a little bit right now but the video that greg actually made was actually really informative i'm going to link it in the description down below because he elaborated on a lot of the things that me and callum have actually devised to do on this off season and to bulk up to or to optimize the next three months of the off season the concept of bulking now has been like made into like this bad thing but i feel like a bad stigma shouldn't be added to just like a word i feel like bulking personally just means like being in a surplus trying to gain weight in the off season not like fat but to build muscle like bulking is like gaining weight and gaining weight means building muscle because when you build muscle you also gain weight youtube videos that i've been watching in the past few weeks when people have said that they're bulking there's people in the comments being like uh greg said that bulking's bad like nobody should bulk and i'm just like well people do things differently everyone has different methods and just because someone's gaining weight and calling it bulking people shouldn't necessarily be called out for like doing something bad because everyone's just trying to get better everyone's trying to progress and do what they think is the best thing to progress and get closer to their and goals now to elaborate on what actually felt when greg did make the video and people were like sliding in my dms being like don't react don't react and obviously i hadn't watched the video yet so i was actually driving to my dad's house to pick up some packages i actually pulled over to the side of the road safely obviously like didn't watch youtube videos while i was driving and watched the video and i was actually pleasantly surprised like it was really good i was hoping that it wouldn't be anything bad because me and greg actually like text now we speak quite often we speak about like youtube stuff and i thought like oh my god we're like we're on really good terms like what, what what could this video possibly be about and when i watched the video i was actually really pleasantly surprised like greg said a bunch of amazing things um, which was really really nice to hear i actually left like a really lengthy comment uh, elaborating on some of the things that he said so if you want to like go on the video in the description and check that out um you can probably read the comment i think he actually pinned it himself he got like 2,000 likes and i was like what what comment gets 2,000 likes i feel like it was because i was touching on the situation that happened before and how i dealt with the situation that happened between me and greg in february at the beginning of this year which was like very poorly dealt with very maturely on my part that was like just on social media at this point in my life like i just moved to a new country i wasn't dealing with anything in my life maturely at that point i was in my head about a lot of things life is very different things were like a lot of things like off social media like necessarily weren't going too right so i guess like what how i dealt with the response to leaving greg as a coach and like the videos that i made and stuff it was very immature and i feel like that was a ripple effect to things that were going on in my personal life as well which obviously wasn't ideal it wasn't professional it wasn't mature um, but i feel like this year has been like a lot of growth for me as a person i feel like ever since the beginning of the year when all that happened things have just like slowly got better and better and better and things decided to fall into place and go right. Canada ended up being an incredible time. I actually left Canada with a beautiful girlfriend who I convinced to come to the UK with me. And ever since that, things have been absolutely fantastic. We released Hard Body, um, the app and the equipment and that went, went really well. So like made a couple mistakes, but it just shows that like, you know, if you do fuck up, like if you acknowledge that mess up, if you acknowledge that you literally like you did mess up and you let that seep in and you really like analyze what you did and how you dealt with that situation and what you could have done better, you can grow as a person, you can become more and you can like, you know, change and not necessarily change, but just like know in the future, you can deal with things maturely if you just sit down and think about it and you know not just like jump the gun and you know just pretty much what I do like in life still <laughs> which is like act too fast and think too fast and all these things but like it's all part of like becoming a better person a more well-rounded individual and just like you know doing better right now we're gonna go back and get a meal to continue the book because bulking it's important. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. We are back from the gym, myself and Jordi, because she's currently recording a full day of eating. I'm gonna make our last meals right now. It is actually quite late, but we 
have both made a severe mistake. We actually didn't go shopping because we were meant to go shopping after the gym, but it got a little bit too late. And the place where we were gonna go shopping, Tesco, actually closed before we could get back. So we need to make the most with the food that we have in the house and try and hit similar macros with food that we actually have in the cupboards currently. I think I'm gonna make a steak, an egg, bagel sandwich. Protein and carbs, fats and carbs. And considering there's gonna be two of them, it's gonna be a pretty hefty meal as well. Way too late for this. It's 1 a.m., baby. I do already have two bagels out, but one's been used as a tripod to hold the camera <laughs> up, so we have another one. I would eat it like a, a donut, but like I want to save it for the sandwich. It's going to be a really nice sandwich. I'm actually really excited about it. But I'm going to be eating a bit of Geordie's pasta as well because she has to hit her macros for her full day of eating. But there's so much pasta that was a little bit left in the packet, and it's just pointless leaving a little bit. I can do with the calories anyway, so. Highly recommend this sauce as well. If you like pasta and you like sauce, put these together, it's great. Tomato and basil sauce is great. My personal favorite anyway. Even though when I was younger, my nan used to find this one that was like, when I used to live at my nan's, I was a very troubled kid. I actually ran away from home when I was 12 and my nan took me in at this point in my life. And every time after school, she'd make me this like tuna pasta or like just pasta with like different colored shapes and stuff. And she'd have like this bacon sauce. It was just fucking awesome. Bacon sauce? Yeah, it was like, it was like bacon and something tomato sauce. I don't know, put little bacon bits in it as well, just for like the extra baconness. It was to bribe you to be good. <laughs> yeah. We're literally just staring at the We're just looking at it. I can't wait. I knew you were gonna do it. Yeah. Here's the beginning of the concoction. We have a piece of steak. We have an egg, a slight squirt of sweet and hot sauce. And there we have it. And as well as these absolutely beautiful sandwiches, we also have a bowl of pasta with a piece of salmon in this. Geordie made an extra piece of salmon and I have some of her leftover pasta and I have some of her extra pasta. So the macros of this meal are gonna be quite interesting. For a bit of a laugh, I've actually purposely worked out the macronutrients for both these meals right here. Cause this is kind of, kind of is like two meals. Salmon pasta and two bagels. But the reason I do wanna eat these two meals is for three reasons. One, I do not like to waste food. Two, I like to eat food when it's fresh and the salmon and pasta just wouldn't be the same tomorrow. And three, I'm trying to gain some weight over the next two months before we do start dieting for my show. Total calories are 1,412 and the macros that make up these calories are 124 carb. Fats are at 45.4 grams. Protein is at 101.4 grams. 100 grams of protein. Obviously I know the body can really only absorb like 40 grams of protein, but the calories do have to come from somewhere. The plan is right now is I'm gonna devour this absolutely beautiful meal. Me and George might watch an episode of Game of Thrones because we are currently on the last episode of season six. What a freaking ride. It has been amazing. Loved every second of it. Geordie loves the series as well. Right now, I'm gonna show you something that I recorded earlier, which was somewhat of a clothing haul for Alfley. As you know, in the last video, I received a big box and I waited until this video to actually open it to show you what was inside. So this was what happened earlier. The box has just been sitting here for the past four days, minding its own business. This isn't working very well. Oh, there we go. So right now we're gonna open it up to see what's inside. Bye. Yeah, sure weight of this box. I think there's a bunch of new items coming. I also think the old items are being restocked as well. So there's a bit of both in this launch. We're gonna open it up. Oh, by the way, big box here because we just purchased a mirror for the bedroom. It's a little bit short. It's about 150 centimeters. I'm 185 centimeters, six foot one. Crap, it's perfect for Geordie to like take selfies and stuff. But for me, I can just about see my legs. Hey, oh, you put the dishes away? Yeah. Thank you. I always get anxious when I like cut open boxes because I, I wonder if I'm gonna like stab the clothing. So you want it, you know. Oh, that's pretty clean. That's an aggressive cut. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Right, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> the reason there's a lot of packages is because I asked them because I don't know where they've gone, but all my boxer shorts go missing. And I don't know how, my socks, my boxers, like you buy them one month and you're like, oh my God, I'm so stuck to have like an endless supply now of boxes and socks. But then a month in the future, they're all gone and no one ever knows why. So I asked Alfie to send me a bunch of their new boxer briefs because they didn't get any from the last launch. They are going to be on the website on Saturday as well. Probably should have done this on the bed. Come on. <laughs> Great. Just about <laughs> one last. Because this isn't going to be like a full haul, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to show a couple of outfits, what's coming. I personally am really excited about this color. It is the Cayman blue. Last year, um, me, Christian, and a bunch of the Alphalete people actually went to the Caymans. So it's very fitting that this is called like Cayman blue because he goes pretty much every single year. His brand, so, you know, he chooses the names of the colors. I really want to try the board shorts on. <sighs> this mirror comes in handy. Oh, goddamn. Oh. 
Zoom. I'm glad that we got it. If I step like far back enough, I can like fit in it. But like right here, so, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty small. These are nice. It's a nice color. And I like how they come up like a little bit higher as well, so they make your waist like look smaller. Love the handles. Like right, yeah. Love handles, muffin tops. The outfit logo is actually reflective and oh, it's so freaking stretchy, Jesus. I actually love the color of these. And before we try two of the outfits on, I wanna show you what the boxes look like on, just in case any guys are looking to like, you know, you want some more boxes because yours go missing somehow as well. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. Why are you mocking the way I vlog? <laughs> you always have to reset by doing, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I always cut it out so no one knows. Exposed, put this in it, please. Yeah, no. Cool. Now, I actually really like these because one, they appear to be tight. They're very, very, very stretchy so they don't feel too tight. The band, the waistband's elasticated. The band itself has the Alphalete branding over the front. And just in terms of like boxes and stuff, sometimes they're too long or too short, like, but these honestly are like, they're perfect. So in terms of the swim shorts and the boxes, definitely approved. First up, we have the Caliber Performance Cutoff with the Alphalete logo going across the chest. This is their first time doing it in this color with this logo over the chest. We also have this in a premium performance t-shirt as well in the same color. Item number two, we have the Essential Long Sleeve Scoop next. Trying this on. I actually really, really love it. I wasn't really too sure because like I'm not really a massive fan of long sleeves personally, but when they fit like tight on the arms and like they really complement the body, like they're really, really snug. I really like them. These are their long sleeves with this big print on the back. These are more oversized and they're a lot more, I guess, looser and relaxed. Do still really like them, but definitely prefer the long sleeve scoop next. Like me personally, I would wear this out. This is definitely more for like winter gym. This one, I could wear with some jeans and we could wear it out. So like really, really, I actually love this. We even have a raw cut scooped finish on the bottom, which is really nice. Maybe I just like it because it's really tight. <laughs> <laughs> now these premium stringers, I actually wear them every single gym session now, ever since they released them in their last launch. And now we have a completely new color, which is called Summer Sun. Alphalete detailing down the bottom right here with this embroidered strip. This new launch is very, very minimal branding, which I love, especially the, the long sleeve scoops. The only branding on it is again, this embroidered strip. And of course, as always, if you do want to support me at the launch, it's code HARDBODY at the checkout. You know exactly how to enter the giveaway. Three gift cards and potentially a flight to Alphaland with a plus one. 10 a.m. CST, 11 a.m. EST and four o'clock in the UK BST. I think it changed from GMT because of the time of year. I'm not sure, but that's when it's going live on Saturday. Game of Thrones, do some work for the rest of the night before we head back to sleep. Back to sleep? Fuck my life, it's like with vampires. <laughs> I'm not sure of him right now. Vampires don't even sleep. What am I saying? You I need, I need food, I need things. food. I really get frustrated with myself, but you know, it's still fun. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them too. If you did enjoy this video, please smash the like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you. We will see you in the next video. Peace. What's up guys? As you can see, only one third of people that watch these videos actually subscribe. So I'd really appreciate it if you do enjoy these videos to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you're feeling generous, smash the like. I'd really appreciate it.